Hi guys, how are you today? You may see in front of me a familiar or unfamiliar book called Creativity in Progress by Laura Escoffery. So this is an art prompt journal. It's similar to Wreck This Journal or Create This Book or something like that. Um, I don't really know too much about this book. I haven't looked through it too much. I think it's got more of a childlike theme where the author has said that there was like imagination and being young, I think is what it said. Let me see if it says. Yeah. Um, the whole purpose of this book is to have fun, of course, and personal development, waking up your creative side. So it's just like a reckless journal. But like I said, I think it has more of a childlike wonder kind of theme to it, which is totally fine. So um, a lot of the prompts are more like, I think there was one that was in here that I saw and I just briefly looked through it that was like, uh, write a letter to Santa Claus. So it's very like whimsical. Again, totally fine. I think it's fun to like let go and have those kind of like creativity moments. So this one I'm really excited to get started with. I didn't necessarily want to start a new prompt series, but I wanted to do something for the month of October called Magictober. And if you're unfamiliar with Magic the Gathering, it's a trading card game. They put out their own little prompt list for the release of their new set, and it's like Halloween and fall themed. And each day you draw something new. So I wanted to give that a shot, but then focus it in the prompt book and try to make each make different prompts match up to the days. So some of these I'll do on camera, some I'll do off camera, some might just be sketches. But I'm going to try to fill as many of these pages as I can with the 31 prompts that they have. I'm going to flash the prompts on the screen as well as comment them down below so in the description box so you know what they are. And let's go ahead and get started with day one. So the first prompt in the book says to make a drawing with coffee. And of course, the first Magictober prompt is fungus. So I wanted to make a coffee drawing with fungus. In this case, I decided I was going to do a little coffee painting. So the first thing I did was to draw various mushrooms. And the paper I noticed in this book was quite thin. You could see the prompts from the other side. So I started out on a separate piece of paper. I wanted to make sure that the watercolor didn't bleed too much since the paper was so thin. So I went ahead and I sketched out my mushrooms first. Once I was done sketching the mushrooms, I made this coffee mixture. And when painting with coffee, you really have like different um, shades you use and you're working only with coffee and the white of the paper. So the first color coffee I made was kind of a medium uh, middle brown, I guess you would call it. So I just did a wash, meaning I did the flat color over the whole thing. And I was going to go back in after I colored everything and add some more details. Once I had this middle color painted, I ran off to the sink and I mixed up a slightly darker shade of brown for the, some details. So I just went in and I added some shading to make these mushrooms really come to life. second brown, I ran off to the sink and I made one final dark brown. It's a darker than the last one. So I went in and it was almost like coffee paste at this point. It was so like concentrated. So I went in with this darker brown. I just added a final level of shading to this to really make it pop. 
And in case you're wondering, my art room smelled fantastic while I was doing this. I love coffee and of course painting with it, it just smelled so, so great. <laughs> After I finished painting and the pages dried, I glued them into the book and that page is complete. That was day one of my Magictober prompt for fungus. I really love how it turned out. The next prompt I selected in the book said recreate a famous painting in your own way. So the next Magictober prompt of course is moon. My mind first went to the that I wanted to do something with the moon obviously. So there's this magic card called Blood Moon. It's like a red moon in a sky. So the painting I picked was Starry Night by Va Vincent Van Gogh. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Starry Night, but it's basically this yellow moon in a blue sky set behind like a city or a village. So I did my rendition of that, but with the red blood moon. So I sort of inverted the colors a little bit to make it more like the blood moon. And I just went in with my oil pastels after I sketched it out and just went for it. background color laid down. If you're unfamiliar with the original painting, it has like these white, I don't want to really call them action lines, but it has these white lines around like the moon and the stars. So I went in and I just drew some white lines with an oil pastel and I blended it out a little bit to make it look more uniform. And then once I did, was satisfied with the white lines that I added, I went in and I did the foreground. Now the original painting does have more detail in the foreground, but this is my rendition. I really like the silhouetted city. After I cleaned up a little bit, I, glued, I opened up my book and I took this little video. This is the finished product and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks amazing. That was my first two prompts for the Magictober prompt list, as well as my first two pages in this book, Creativity in Progress. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to see the rest of the prompts, I'm going to link the um, links to my social media in the description if you want to follow me there and see them. Uh, like I said, some videos will focus on these prompts, but you'll also see some daily little doodles and things to do with the prompts there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye!